there's a, a, a land you want to buy. Yes, Prophet. Oh? Yes, Prophet. There's a land you want to buy. This is a real estate land. Yes, yes, Prophet. Oh? Yes, Prophet. Mm. God will give you money. You must not worry. Amen. God will give you money because this is one of the businesses that has been in your mind. Yes, yes, so indeed, sir. Already is done. Amen. God Amen. bless you. Amen. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makananisa. And with me here today is my family, who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Sumono, who ministered upon their lives. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Hi, um, my name is Lebo. Uh, we're from North Ride. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Sumono located you and he ministered upon your lives. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Um, so Prophet Simono um, located my husband and he actually pointed out the fact that he there's a land that he wants to buy for business. Um, it is something that we have spoken about for many years now. Um, it has been in the pipelines for a long time, so the prophecy was true. Yes. And so how do you feel that today the man of God located you and ministered upon your life regarding a land that you've been desiring? Um, I feel, you know, the appreciation is that, or the awareness is that God is with us and God is taking care of the plans and ideas that he has given us. You know, uh, Apostle was talking today about what's that idea, do it, believe God will, will make it happen. So today just that coming uh, is a reminder to us to continue and pursue uh, what we believe is a God-given idea to us. Yeah. And how would you encourage somebody who is trusting in God for something and they are watching this? Yeah, stay with it, stick with it. Uh, come, as the Apostle says, come here and, and get a prophetic word to help strengthen you. They overcame uh, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. So you do need a word that testifies about the thing you are believing for. Yeah, amen. And Ma, how would you encourage them? Um, even when you get discouraged, stay with it. Amen. Because if God says it, he will do it. Yeah. Amen. Sister, this, I see this young man that it's like there will be issue of murder. You hear me? I see this small young man who does not listen to anyone. It's true. You hear me? Amen. This young man is like... I see police, let's pray for him before his life can be messed up. Amen. Amen. You are hearing me? Amen. Because he leaves home, he comes home after days. It's true. So now this case, there's a case that is coming. We need to pray to stop this problem. Amen. Because if it happens, the whole of his life will never have a meaning again. Amen. You hear me? Amen. In Jesus' name. When sometimes you look at your family, you, you must pray and say, God, I don't want to be like these people. You, you hear me? You know? Because remember what happened to his brother? He was shot. Yes, it's true. Because of what has happened. Yes. So now my prayer is not for his brother. His brother is already shot. Yes. I'm praying for him that God must change him. Amen. Bring the lady here. There's a spirit there. You know when you do wrong, you can see you're doing wrong, isn't it? Huh? You change your ways. You change your ways. When you do wrong, you can see anyone, you, you see them misbehaving this, it's a spirit. P many people that are in jail, they don't even know how they got there. I'm telling you the truth. Someone will just say, after you are arrested, say, ah, Kanda, how did I come here? What happened? You start to ask yourself those questions, and you are the one who committed murder. But at the same time, when you are in jail, you are asking yourself a question, well, how did I come here? It's a demon. Many young black people, uh, they are not in jail because it was their choice. 
they don't know what happened. A spirit just come from there, you are doing this, you are doing that, and gone. Because that's where Satan wants you to be. That's where your enemies want you to be. Today, I pray that the grace of God must change your destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come, sister. You know, pray for this lady. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Patricia Mrab. I'm staying in Jimmy Stay. Today during the service, Prophet Andrew Simona located you and he ministered upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, Prophet was talking about my younger brother who is not listening to us. Uh, whatever Prophet was telling me is true. My brother, he, he, he's a troublemaker. Yeah. And what did the Prophet say? The prophet said, I must pray for, we must pray for my brother so that he, he, he can get delivered because he see police coming and there is a case that is coming. Yeah. And what is it that your brother would do? Uh, he used to steal for people. He also steals for us in the house. Then the, the community come and report him to us. Some, they don't report, they just beat him. Mm. And how has that affected you guys as a family? It's bad because, it, especially my mom, mm. like he's old, ne? so now she's stressing about this thing. Mm. Yeah. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and ministered upon your life regarding your brother? I'm happy and I thank God that my, my touch, it's his touch, he, he will be de delivered. Actually, he's delivered. Amen. Yes, thank you. And how would you encourage somebody who's watching this? Uh, distance is not a barrier. Uh, if you pray with us wherever you are, yeah, the, the hands of God will touch wherever you are. Amen. Amen. My brother, you want to move where you're staying? Yes, huh? yes. You, you need God to give you the grace of a house. Amen. Because you've been struggling a lot. Amen. You hear me? Yes, sir. Because I see you moving from Joburg, but your mind say, where should I go? Where can I go? To a better place. Yes. So now God will do it for you. Thanks, sir. You're free. Touch you. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay, my name is Dax Twala. I come from uh, Cosmo City. Today during the service, Prophet Andrew Simona located you and he ministered upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Um, the prophet of God uh, spoke about me wanting to move from, from where I, I'm currently living, of which it is true, like I've been pondering about it, like uh, I was actually thinking of moving end of January, like when, when this festive thing circles down. So he also alluded to the fact that uh, I'm struggling in that area because uh, I'm, I'm actually done with the neighborhood to understand because it's, it's smart by so many drunkards and stuff so I was actually uh, trying hard uh, to, to look for a, a more suitable place to understand obviously it involves uh, more finances and I was also, also looking at, at the idea of buying you understand so 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 many things were going through my mind yeah so he was very much spot on and how long have you been trusting in God for a house um, it's been uh, the better part of this year, of this year uh, the better part of this year and then there's something that actually happened uh, I think it was last week it actually had me uh, thinking far much more about moving you understand yes and how do you feel that today the man of God located you and ministered upon your life regarding a house uh, well um, it kind of uh, emphasizes the point that um, whatever that we think God is there, God is, he sees our thoughts and stuff, he is. so uh, I'm very much grateful that uh, he has endorsed it and uh, I believe it's only a matter of time, it's going to come to pass. Amen. Amen. Who is your partner? Um, actually we separated, now we are in a... Because why I'm seeing a court case? Actually yes, as from... Mm. Next year. Because I'm telling you, uh, why I'm seeing a court case, we need to pray for you. This has escalated to another level. You know, that you're not expecting. 
You hear me? So let's Amen. allow God to intervene. Amen. In Jesus' name. Mama, I see a young girl that has moved out of the house. What is that, Mama? There's a young girl that has moved out of the house. It's like she moved out of the house and she came back. Yeah, it was huh? my daughter. She's mm. now back. That's what I'm saying. I'm seeing a young girl who moved out of the house and later came back. Mm, she's now back. You need, to, you need to pray for your children. They need unity. Yes. You hear me? Yes. Amen. Mm, you need to pray because this spirit that took her out of the house, it's a spirit of suicide. It's a suicidal spirit. Huh. You need to pray for your children. God bless Amen. you. Amen. You're free. You're free. Come, sir. Let me touch you. Jesus, my name. Be healed now. In Jesus' name. Amen. You're free. Your wife? Is, it this, is this your first wife? Text of the marriages at all. Yes. It has been immense. Yes. It has been very serious. It's unspeakable. You know, all of your people is two, second wife, second wife, third one. You know, it has been a problem. Yes. So now we need to pray for you. Uh, let's allow God to bring more peace now. Amen. At all. Amen. God bless you. Amen. You're free, sir.